Alright, more scary stuff up ahead. Because last E3 was just not enough. Yeah, last E3 there was apostrophe the. Also known as Corundation Day. That creepy pasta actually made me jump when the music just went full blast and all the glitches appeared. And then I wondered why the game just crashed. It didn't. I still haven't finished that and considering there's all this other stuff for me to do, I don't know when that's going to be finished on my channel. But let's play a the. Now here is another, well this is a Super Mario World hack based off uh, another Super Mario World creepypasta. Not originally a Super Mario World hack, but it's based off Super Mario World. And Ursano decided to actually port it over to a Super Mario World hack. Considering how advanced ASM's gotten in recent years, probably wouldn't be too tough for, the, for him to pull this off if he knows what he's doing, which I'm assuming he does. He's probably been around Super Mario Central since the beginning of time. Well, being of its time anyway. So yeah, apparently if you beat the sunken ghost ship 10,000 times or something, a new level tile appears, and then that's where the creepypasta takes place. So yeah, it looks like the original Super Mario World, everything's normal, you're on the sunken ghost ship. Everything's normal except the fact you can't go anywhere else but here. So if you beat this a certain amount of times, then another level tile appears. So I guess I actually have to play this level. Well, that was strange. Nothing in that block. Okay, actually I misinterpreted that. If you beat the level enough times, a key and keyhole will appear and that will unlock a secret path to where the creepypasta takes place. Right, something happened. Oh god, that's creepy. Oh god, no. And now Mario all of a sudden is psyched out. I would be too if I was in his position. I don't remember how the creepypasta went, but I guess it's time to find out. Eyeless booze, sure. I see the music hasn't been changed. Huh. I guess they can't follow us because they can't see us. That's a good sign. Oh god, whoa. Where did I get that star power from? So if I didn't have that, that would have been it. I hate you. That's a rather strong thing to say. You haven't heard of me. Whoa! Those are some crazy looking big boobs. Yep, this is how they looked like in the creepypasta. This is how it looked like. I'll take the warp pipe. Now I'm in the vanilla fortress all of a sudden. So I guess there's no challenge. I can just kill all the thwomps. Blood's slippery. There's no way you could pass through this otherwise, I don't think. If I wasn't invincible, I don't think I'd be able to get through this. I can't run, because I'm underwater. I vaguely remember the creepypasta and all of this is part of it. I'm only remembering it as I'm seeing it unfold. after me? Well, I guess I'll just swim and keep on swimming. So apparently the Marios that are dead come off the spikes and start chasing you, but can you kill them with your star? I, I wonder. Actually, they just follow you. They don't do anything. They just want you to be scared. I mean, the really kind of set the bar high for these Super Mario Creepy Possums. Whoa! Why is that mushroom like that? And why does it look like I wanted to kiss somebody? Mushroom killed me. That's not right. You're next. <laughs> but now, why is the screen red? I hope I'm ready for this. Okay, it's the same level as before. Yep, nothing changed. I got star power, so I'm invincible and there's no challenge. 
that's not the point of this. It's to be scary. Not even all that psyched out because I sort of remembered this one. I'll just get back to where I was. So the mushroom there kills you. Strangely enough. Let's go on the boss door. Find a skull. It looks like a skull. Luigi! Oh, you actually get to fight Luigi. With Mega Man style health bars and everything. You actually get to fight Luigi. This might actually be... Wow. This is actually going to be interesting. I mean, I knew Luigi was the underrated brother, but I didn't think it'd go to this. Leah and the creepy pasta. I think that has something to do with it. That it didn't go to this. I have to know I have this health bar and everything. It's not just like I die in a few hits. I can take like probably all kinds of hits, and so can Luigi. Yeah, it's really awesome to see a boss battle where we have roughly the same amount of health. I mean, compared to the jump where you can only take like to five hits, and then there's this giant robot that you have to slowly kill with a can of compressed air. I mean, that jump boss was still really good. Okay, my favorite part of this creepypasta so far is the boss fight. I'm not even trying that hard, and so far I'm winning. I've taken a lot of hits, but so far it looks like I'm gonna win this. Unless I just slip a bit more. Well, Luigi can do a lot. I see Luigi's been practicing pyromancy without us knowing it. Wonder what other tricks he's gonna have up his sleeve. Never seen Luigi shoot so much fire. Well, he can get a fire flower, but not like this. What happens now that we beat him in the fight? I get a cape! Alright, what am I supposed to do? Luigi? Touch him? Wait. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! We knocked him in the lava! Oh god, no. I'm just repeating exactly what he said when he fell in the lava. Oh, so apparently this is the alternate ending for Super Mario World. What the fuck is with this demonic chanting? I feel like Satan's trying to talk to us, but what's he saying? Maybe he's having trouble getting the message through. If I don't touch the mushroom and just do everything as I did before, will it be any different? I beat the boss again, this time I didn't touch the oblong mushroom. So it's still the same thing, right? With you knocking Luigi into the lava pool, seeing his flesh getting melted off, and then hearing Satan speaking. That is, that is terrifying so to speak.